I'm currently a research associate at the East Asia Institute. Um, I would like to sincerely welcome you to the KF Korea Workshop 2019, the third one this year. And um, this event is sponsored by the Korea Foundation and organized by the East Asia Institute. We actually had around 300 applicants this round, so congratulations on your acceptance to the program. And before we delve into the program details, I have a couple of reminders for you. Um, the first one is how to use the receivers for the simultaneous translation. So if you plug them into your ears, they should automatically turn on. And channel one, I believe, is Korean, and channel two is English. And if you are having any difficulties with using the receivers, we have some staff members, including Mr. Yoon. Can you wave Mr. Yoon in the back? So please feel free to ask him. And the second is regarding the field trip this Saturday. Um, we originally planned it to occur at 2 p.m., but the time has changed to 1 p.m., and I'll explain this more later on. And the third is um, about the name tags. So you have two name tags. One is a name tent for your desk, and one is for to wear. Um, when you check out after the event, please return both of them to our intern Yul. You all saw Yul at the check-in desk, right? Because we'll be using them for the other sessions. And finally, after each session, we'll be taking a group photo in the back with the banner. So just have that in mind. Um, and don't leave early because you'll miss out on the photo. So at this time, I would like to invite Ms. Xian Lee. She's the acting director of the Korea Foundation Global Center Division, and she'll be giving us uh, the opening speech. Yeah, 프로그램에 참여해 주셔서 너무 감사드립니다. 어, 저희 재단에서 어, EAI랑 함께 여러분들이 한국계 경제, 역사, 문화 다양한 분야에 대해서 재밌게 배울 수 있도록 최고의 전문가 분들을 모셨거든요. 그래서 한국에 대해서 많이 배워가실 수 있으면 좋겠습니다. 어, 저희 재단에 대해서는 아마 많은 분들이 알고 계실 텐데요. 저희가 주로 하는 일은 한국을 한국을 해외에서 알리고 또 한국에 계시는 외국 분들한테 알리는 일을 주로 해요. 그런데 진짜 저희가 서로 잘 알고 이해를 하려면 저희 한국에 대해서 외국에 알리는 것뿐만 아니라 여러분들의 나라를 저희가 또 아는 것도 중요하거든요. 그래서 저희가 쌍방향 교류 사업을 하고 있습니다. 그래서 저희가 2층에 갤러리가 있는데 거기에서는 어, 한국에서 잘 접하지 못하는 나라들의 문화를 저희가 전시도 하고 공연도 하고 그러고 있어요. 그래서 요번에 어, 그 여러분들이 이제 한국에 대해서 배우게 돼서 저희랑 인연이 있으니까 나, 인연이 생겼으니까 이런 인연의 계기로 또 나중에 저희가 여러분들의 나라도 배울 수 있게 돼서 서로를 더잘 알게 됐으면 좋겠습니다. 네, 저희 좋은 프로그램 준비했으니까 그냥 열심히 공부하시고 어, 많이 배워가셨으면 좋겠습니다. 감사합니다. Director Lee. Um, next, we will hear welcoming remarks from Dr. Sunny Oh. She's um, the Executive Director and Principal Researcher of the East Asia Institute. Hey, good evening. My name is Sunny Oh, and I am the Executive Director and Principal Researcher of EAI. Uh, it's my great honor to give the welcoming remarks for the opening of the 2019 KF Korea Workshop 3. The EAI East Asia Institute was founded in May 2002 as an independent think tank in Korea. Since then, it has grown to research various facets of the Korean Peninsula and its role within the region and the world. Today, EAI functions as a knowledge network of global scholars and experts with, with aim to create a society of nations based on liberal democracy and peace. In 2015, EAI partnered with the Korea Foundation to further the existing network and embrace the diverse individuals within the country. Korea may be considered as a largely homogeneous nation to others, but a vast number of international individuals currently reside within the nation, and the number of increases with each other are each and every year. 
If there are limited opportunities for these individuals to explore and experience Korea, as well as network with each other to discuss their shared experience and ideas. And uh, the k and Korea workshop seeks to address this uh, limitation by uh, providing foreign residents in Korea a genuine opportunity to deepen their understanding of Korea as a nation, a culture, and a society of individuals. Since 2015, the workshop has grown both in size and network, rounded up on the three pillars of the program, academicus, communicus, and empathicus. With these pillars in mind, we hope you learn, communicate, and emphasize with other participants of the program during the three lectures and visits to Jeonju, Gunsan, and Cheonha. The third workshop, in particular, offers lectures on modern Korean history, economy, and pop culture from knowledgeable professors and experts. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to all of your speakers, all of our speakers as well as our partner for the workshop, the Korean Foundation, for their support and cooperation. Thank you all for coming, and we hope that today's lecture will serve as one more step in your greater pursuit of knowledge on Korea. Thank you. Okay, so thank you, Dr. O. Oh, I don't know why this keeps happening. Okay. So before we go on to the program briefing, we have a short video to share with you about Korea Foundation. So here it is. cultivate a more in-depth understanding of Korea and its people, and to enhance friendship around the world. Korea Foundation. KF invites influential figures to Korea and carries out programs for next generation leaders and youth exchange to foster cooperation and friendship. The KF also organizes bilateral and multilateral forums for active exchange of opinions on key issues and matters of mutual concerns. The KF builds GPDNet, a global public diplomacy network to create a cooperative system to help address global issues and also supports career-related research at policy-oriented research institutes to create a global knowledge community. It also dispatches talented young Koreans to prominent global organizations through the KF Global Challenge Program. KF organizes the Korea Festival, a comprehensive Korean culture program. Along with culture-related projects linked with global issues and Korea-related exhibitions and education program in conjunction with overseas museums and diplomatic missions. Located in downtown Seoul, the KF Global Center provides a variety of cultural and artistic events including lectures, performances, and exhibitions to help foreign residents in Korea better understand Korean culture and to provide the Korean public with an opportunity to enjoy world cultures. KF contributes to laying the groundwork for Korean studies overseas through the establishment of professorships, dispatch of visiting professors, and support for KF Global eSchool courses at prominent universities abroad. The KF also extends support for various academic activities and provides
provides fellowship programs for career-related specialists and workshops for non-Korean educators so that they can deepen their knowledge about Korea and develop more extensive personal networks. KF offers in-depth introduction of Korea through its publications like Koreana, published in nine languages, support for the publication of Korea-related books in foreign languages, and distribution of Korea-related materials to universities, libraries, and research institutes around the world. The KF also provides Korea-related information through its digital content programs, which includes the publication of e-books and support for online reference materials. It also contributes to boosting the popularity of Korea's contemporary culture abroad by showing Korean films and TV dramas to local audiences in cooperation with the Korean diplomatic missions abroad. Korea Foundation strives to deepen international understanding of Korea and enhance goodwill and friendship around the world. The KF remains firmly and faithfully committed to realizing its vision of earning the respect and trust of Korea from all members of the global community through the development of true friendships. Korea Foundation. Yay. Okay, so <clears throat> that was a short video on Korea Foundation. And I'll go on to explain more about the workshop itself. So as you all know, and you're all here, KF Korea Workshop is for foreign residents who are in Korea and offers a lot of lectures and field trips so that you may experience and get to know about Korea better. Um, Dr. O explained this a little bit, but KF Korea Workshop is grounded upon three pillars. The academic whose pillar advocates for the lecture series, which helps foreigners to learn more about Korea. The Communicus Pillar invites foreigners to a diverse alumni network of past and present participants in the workshop. And the Empathicus Pillar promotes on-site visits and field trips that help foreigners to experience Korea more in person. The schedule that we have for you for the third workshop is as follows. So today, we have a lecture on Railway Modern Korea and Japan by Professor Chong Jae Jung, who is a chair professor at the Gwangju Institute of Science and Technology. And this Saturday, we have a field trip to Chongdong guided by the Seoul City walking tours. And as I mentioned earlier, the time has changed from 2 to 4 p.m. to 1 to 3 p.m. And we will be meeting outside the Seoul Metropolitan Council, which is near City, City Hall Station, exit number three. And this tour will go through the street of Kujong, Iwahakdang, and other places. So please be on the lookout for a more informative e email from us tomorrow about this. Our second lecture next Tuesday is on the Korean economy. And this one is by Professor Song Taeyun of Yonsei University. And he's a leading Korean economist. So look forward to that definitely. And the final lecture will be on Korean culture in relation to BTS. And yes, it is the BTS that you're all thinking about. And this particular lecture will be taught by Professor Choi Sesbyo of Iwha Women's University. And last but not least, from Saturday to Sunday, November 9th to 10, there will be an overnight workshop to Jeonju, Gunsan, and Cheonan. And the pre preliminary schedule is provided in the program sheet in your file but we will also let you know about the further details next week. And if you have any questions about the program, please feel free to ask us via email at kf.eai.or.kr or in person following the lecture.